strategy games. Yeah, me too. Real time is pretty interesting. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like the uh, match is about to begin. Yep. Here Let's see. Go. Oh, yes. There is. Looks like there is quite a bit of water on this map. I'm going to love this. <laughs> if you Damn. hadn't noticed already, CCR's uh, strength is the naval game. That is my Achilles heel. <laughs> hey, we got 199 uh, metal on Zetox. Yeah. This is going to be very interesting. Speaking of the metal is more grouped up, so you're going to be probably be fighting land and naval. Naval will definitely help you on this map. Honestly. Naval can almost reach, especially if you pick the largest of the lake, it could probably fit most of it. Yeah, good uh, portion of the map, over half, if you uh, had a real good control of that. Yes. I honestly think this map is rather beautiful. I like this one. Yes, I do too. <laughs> Yeah, it's got a, a whole lot of custom CSG yeah. on here. Uh, Which these... might... I'm pretty sure Naval can fire over those CSGs, but... We'll find like... out. <laughs> but we'll see. I haven't seen a map quite like this uh, before. And all it takes is a few Naval units and your group of docks is gone. <laughs> group of much of anything, like your whole base. <laughs> we actually played a match uh, 2v2 on a different planet. It had one little pond in the center. Someone put naval in that one little pond. And it, it was smaller it, than this pond here. <laughs> yeah. And it it wrecked like my base, but I still. Both commanders up spawning in. It looks like pink is kibbles and black is uh, life. It. All right. Well, that's uh, pretty good. They're standard. both on the same continent, All so right. they might go. It looks like life. It is going bots, and kibbles is also is going first air. Yep. Uh, that's That'd probably a good idea on this map. Yeah, air factory, take out, uh, grab the uh, metal back here. This will be some contestion back here with air. Yeah, a little bit. So, yeah, this might be a all platform match with both ground, air, and naval. Possibly, that'd be uh, that'd be some fun game to play to watch. There. And if you were to get tier two naval in the the lake that surrounds pretty much the whole that goes around the whole planet, you could do some wrecking. Especially with the tier two naval and its range. All right, scouting so is also going to be very important. All right, Kibbles is starting the scouting with uh, one hummingbird. Mm -hmm. uh, two hummingbirds out. All right, well that's good to get going. I uh, believe this map is um, symmetrical, so they should know where each other is spawning. I don't, I don't remember how many custom spawn points there were. I don't think I played this one at all, so. Uh, and it didn't show us the spawn points either. Yeah, but um, honestly, you're qu quite correct. They did spawn at the exact same spots on the yeah. north and south ends. It's also very interesting. The combat fire are actually picking up trees here, which doing that actually does give you metal. Yeah, that's a very so good valid strategy. It's though. actually got fluctuating between 107 and 47 metal. Yeah, that's a great idea to do on this. Um, it does not appear that Kibbles is doing such. Looks like we also have another caster in here with us. Hey, hey. How you doing? <laughs> oh, uh, Kibbles is actually getting these uh, mechs up really quick with four uh, fabrication bots each. It looks like Kibbles is going to be going mostly bots in the air, which is a pretty good strategy on this pretty large open map. But if you were to get um, tanks into the small corridors, some of the small corridors in this map, you could wreck the bots. Yeah. Let's uh, see. It looks like Kibbles has got one little force of docks, but not really anything else, and he's not doing yeah. anything with it. Life it does only has about two docks out. Mostly his units are fabbers. Kibbles could scout um, Life it a little bit more. And I don't even know if Lifehead has uh, scouted Kibbles. No, he has not. He spotted one fa one air factory and a few um, energy plants, but that's about it. Yeah. And check out... Kibbles has not seen Lifehead's base at all, even though he's got scouts sitting... No, he's got right two there. birds right next to it. He, hadn't, and he if knows he were where to it's get... at, at least. Uh, life is going with something interesting. After he builds the mechs here, he's going to be building a uh, anti-air, which a good would idea. definitely help. On a map like this, especially if your uh, opponent goes all air, we also have uh, life it expanding to the back of the map here. Oh, the air faber. 
Yeah, that's a great idea. Secondary base or just a whole lot of mechs is very nice to have. And if you can hold that, that's a lot of mechs to your advantage. Yeah, especially if it stays out of a battlefield. Yes. I'd be very interested to see if any of them go naval. Um, we also have a lot of air fabrics from Kibbles building quite a bit of mechs in the back of his base. Mm -hmm. Great idea. He's going for uh, beefy up eco at the beginning. But if they run in right into that hummingbird, it might be a little interesting. Oh, uh, that hummingbird got... may so oh, barely oh, close. did not see him by the <laughs> There's some more coming. Oh. Uh, but there's two more. Oh, they, they just got, jumped away at the last second. Bomber uh, picking up that. some good stuff down there by Kibbles. Uh, oh, hit, gets the uh, fabric. Hopefully gets the combat. He yeah, does. Yeah, he did. The, uh, they're both floating <laughs> metal right now. Wow, Kibbles is doing great at knocking out these fabbers. Yeah. He just popped a bunch of them. Yeah, Dodged just... some missiles. Oh, and gets another fabber just before some um, oh, man. hummingbirds go and take him out. Early he did. Game. That's that. That bomber did quite a bit of work. I'll say. Early game uh, fabber. Not, it appears like Kibble does great. have some naval uh, queued up over here. Oh, I gotta see this. Oh, yeah, quite a few. Which would be definitely be an advantage, but still hasn't seen those fabbers in the back of the map building metal. Right now, life it in the metal lead. My but good bit. still fluctuating due to grabbing trees. Yeah, I think he's relying on that. It's still really good strategy. And... It is a very good strategy, and it also clears area to build factories so it, they can be built up faster. Yeah, that's pretty good. It also looks like uh, Life is about to go and uh, do some raiding. Yeah, oh really? Let's see. That might be taken oh, down. Oh yeah, right over nope. there on the base. Uh, looks like he gets a faber, which is pretty good. He lost his up. bomber there, but uh, yeah, it's a decent pickup there. Nothing like yeah. what Kibbles managed to pull off, but no. still. Kibbles almost seeing the air fabbers in the back of the map, but not quite. Those scouts are taken out. Kibbles needs to more focus up his uh, air group a little bit more to take on uh, Lifid. Yeah, Lifid is taking out a handful of random air that is floating around, but nothing yes. too is significant. Still Commander, hasn't found all that fabber. After uh, Kibbles builds this last bot factory, he's going to be switching up to vehicles. We also have a uh, looks like a raiding force coming in through right over here. Yeah, see that? And I don't and know. More stuff coming up behind it. It looks like uh, life is streaming units up that direction. Oh. Oh, that naval was also scouted, and it, the. Uh, is this finished? Oh, almost made. It was almost made. Oh, I think it is made. It just got bombed. And it's now getting bombed. Yeah. <laughs> it's really That's getting bombed. That's a pretty bombed. good pickup. But there's also another factory right over here, which would have been very interesting and very uncomfortable. And if they're bombing each up. other's factories. <laughs> no naval game yet. And also, it looks like Life it would be probably bombing all the mechs in that oh, area too. that's going to be some loss. Does he yeah. even have anything to uh, protect? He's got a little bit of uh, He's got a little bit, but not much. But he's not sending them anywhere. Yeah. Oh, now they're coming. Here they come. Yep. That might save a little up. bit of mechs. Hey, Grouping uh, of units is actually a very good idea. Yeah, that's... Uh, Send it gives you more way. DPS in a shorter and a little uh -oh. compact space. He should have sent them already. And if it yeah. had a chance to throw some more hummingbirds into the mix. Yeah, this and is going to make it very awkward. Hey, He's probably waiting out. and keeping them grouped up over that mech so he can have as much DPS there as possible. But we also have a uh, force coming in through. He's going to have to use his com no, 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 He's not no. going to use his commander. He's just walking Fight away. Too bad Even he didn't catch this. Three fabbers right here, life had, could have yeah. picked up, but uh, didn't. He's thinking about it. Oh, he's nope. going for it. He's... Nope, never mind. Gibble's using the CSG as cover. <laughs> and bomb. No, bomber didn't bomb. For uh, an interesting strategy is that if you have a large group of docks and you see a bomber coming to uh, set a patrol pattern and they spread out, so it's less likely to take out as many. Yeah, that definitely saved me a few times already. Yeah, life had going with a little bit heavy air. He doesn't have that many bot factories, but he has a lot of air factories. Let's check the total uh, factory count. Lift it yes. 11, uh, Kibbles 10. Pretty even. The mobile units is also decently easy, even. 
Faber. But that's mostly air. Account doesn't matter too much right now. Econ is also more or less the same. Uh, so that's okay. Hey, uh, we got some uh, little fighting in uh, Lifford's base. Oh yeah. That's mostly uh, Hummingbird sitting over there. I don't see any bombers in that mix, so he should be able to get a... And it looks like life is just streaming units at him, so one at a time is not going to be very good. Hmm. Well, it doesn't have any bombers oh, in the force now, he, does he? Kibbles is going <laughs> oh, for the uh, metal in the back hand corner of his base. It's a very good pickup. He's probably well, going to get all get three. if anything else, that's a good idea. Yep. He's probably going to get all three. Yep, no problem on that. And then here comes the bomber. Yeah, there's a couple bomb, three bombers there, and it took. We them also out. had a uh, confrontation in the back of Kibble's base, picking up two metal and almost a third. Fancy. Well, it helped. Uh, they pretty much traded punches there. Econ's more or less still the same. Yeah. Life is uh, jumping up and down because of the uh, tree gathering. Yeah, still doing. He's it. not exactly a tree hugger. <laughs> oh, darn! This is not going to be great, but. There is a slight forced fire going on there. Oh, really? Yeah. Slight. Well, uh, that'll kill burn some up of this. Yeah. Metal. Well, it could be a loss. It probably won't be a great loss. I noticed somebody has a uh, naval factory. Let's see if I can find the naval factory. Who has the naval? Uh, we've got some uh, confrontation going up on up north with uh, Lifid bombing out some Kibbles mechs in the ocean. Unfortunately, Kibbles does not have enough air to contest that. He, Kibbles really needs to work on his air game and gaining that back. Well, he's just kind of sitting it there. <laughs> Gonna bomb out Which, a little bit more mechs. Why oh, not? it looks like Kibbles is grouping up his air, seeing if uh, they'll attack him. Oh, also Lifid grouping up too. That's going to be pretty... Kibble's uh, probably going to leave this confrontation. I'll say. <laughs> yeah. Just pew pew pew. Oh. Uh, more metal going down from Kibble's. Oh. Lifed with 223 solid metal, but jumping up to close to 300. I'd say While right Kibbles is only changer. sitting at 138. Uh, that is likely the deciding factor on this map. Or this game, anyway. The metal. Yeah. Now, we if also you look have at, a, uh, one naval base, factory from Lifid. You look at Lifid's base, we got some uh, docks coming in. Coming in oh, high. yeah. And it looks like they might pick up quite a few metal there, especially if they can get in before some of the uh, docks go. Uh, uh, not unfortunately, Kibbles did divert to go see if there was metal in that back side again, oh, but well, that might be uh, costly. Air Force He's coming in. Lifed was quite the Air Force in quite a few factories. I believe the the factory count is now 18 to 11. Uh, um, Kimball's going down with a uh, teleporter right here. See really? If, if he uh, tries anything with that. <laughs> well, that could be useful. Yeah, Kimball's also has a deep space radar and going tier 2. Nobody's went to orbital at all. Yeah, there's the tier yeah. 2. Uh, Lifford's got a significant eco advantage right now. Uh, Kibbles has got a little bit of fab bots popping out to reclaim some of that metal he lost before. What's this paying for? That is know. an advanced air factory from uh, Lifford. That advanced air is actually really good. It's not quite as strong as you would think it would be, but against some tier 2 uh, bots and uh, land units, it's pretty good. We got factories going up all over the place from both parties. Yep. And it looks like a huge air force just scouted uh, Kibbles. Oh, wow. Oh, they might be going for the there. bomber snipe. They might be building up for the bomber snipe. They know where the commander is. Oh, and Kibbles does there not. To contest it. No, there is really nothing there to contest it. They could possibly do it. Yeah. More bombers coming in. <laughs> I'd say up. that's likely the strategy right now. Yeah, uh, we also have a naval factory being built right behind Kibble's base. Let's see if he notices that, notices that again. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice. Uh, also, Kibble's play there. putting down a, a factory right here, possibly to grab some more of the uh, metal on the back side of the planet. Yeah, I seen that earlier. Oh, here goes the snipe. Oh. Uh, is he gonna get it? Yeah, he's gonna get that one for sure. GG! That was pretty good! And uh, Lifiet 
going to the next game, or is this... I'm not entirely sure how this ladder is set up right now, but he's the winner of this match. That was actually for third place. Third place? So, does that secure him third place, or does that... Yes. That, oh, it might be best of three in mm. third place. But... I'll have to take a look at that and find out. Chrome engaged. That was a pretty good match. 